cat the showers spawn can get heaven but from when that'd be the fourth thing they can get it yep. down just yet so smart to get him off of the drone the satchel so weird so weird smart. retake and it's looking very dangerous Ooh. here for envy they're losing basically everybody I'm seeing no oh, kills right now all right saw one. Here. and the kusa is going to go to punish finesse in the back with the classic and wow, that was a wrap Genji pick Very up strange. the pistol. That was a dope round from Genji. Just, said, it almost uh, seemed like an anti. Nice take of the A site. It was a, it was it? a retake setup from Envy. Yep. They uh, took the they took spawn side instantly. Happened, but it ultimately Genji yeah, maybe that was just a call as soon as they heard the TP. It was like fuck it, push all the way through. It wasn't the original plan, but. Oops, Satchel. Oh well. He looked like he had Not a good start he around on the mini map. Uh, so we did have a bit of run over towards showers. This might actually be uh, Kusta making sure he can get the camp in there. It's not a focus already. Food looking for that orb, and they're at least going to get the trap down here. And yeah. they can definitely hear each other. At least food heard something. <laughs> yeah, I love what? this trip. I mean, you can't destroy that. Trip. Chat, I looked at one message. Awesome. I don't know why it made me laugh. That's one of the reasons why you what did it say? That I think the sketchy website I bought this the turtle from stole all my info. <laughs> I don't so, know why the baby laugh. Like, that sucks. Genji, that sucks. That sucks, but like, yeah, it's just. Why are you typing that? Down, you know what I mean? Dude, I <laughs> Some of, some of the things that some of these people this, say, as as and oh my god, it is so out of the blue. <laughs> there was one yeah, earlier yeah. that said, hey, if anybody wants to get to know me, just let me know. <laughs> like, I didn't say it earlier, but I was just like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, literally, what are you on about? Good. falls. <laughs> And now it's just going to be a bit of a rotation back to the other side. Oh, like apparently the the turtle thing is an is a Twitch ad that's really been playing. <laughs> that makes more sense, but uh, good. That's Wind so funny. Could drop the bulldog, could get yep. an orb and pull out his knives. You know, that's that's something they could do if they really want to kind of min max there with their economy, but at the same time they can also just play with what they have here and yeah. And it looks like that's likely going to be the case. And we what? will see four phantoms, Hold on. one vandal coming out of Envy. That's an ad? What is it advertising? Like the turtle? Focus on showers yeah. control here. So that's going to be know. the first point of focus for the round. Who wins showers? Who gets that first edge? So it looks like Spawn, uh, Sean bought the Spectre, dropped it to Win. Win dropped his Bulldog, so Win can still keep money towards the Discover operator. Discover card. Sean's feeling good about just the oh, so like a credit card. They're, they're playing with a little bit of econ point here, and they're pushing Fine. through. Envy's gonna be a able weird, to drop here. Ad, and Genji's honestly. looking for some shower pressure. Ooh. Who buys turtles <laughs> online? <laughs> like, really, though? A lot of people buy turtles online. Very nice really? Yeah. Is that like a hobby of people? I think they might know yeah. that. Yeah, plenty of people have turtles. I've, yeah, I've had turtles myself, but I usually just got them in person, you know? Person's dying. Everything's online. Person's dying. Yeah. You'll probably buy, you'll probably buy fish online, too, more than in person. That's not true. You go to just pet smart. They have a whole... That's not... What? And People Genji go outside still, Mike. Third round, the bonus yeah, you'd be surprised. Way. No, I wouldn't. I see them outside. You buy a lot of pets online these days. A lot. I wouldn't be surprised if more transactions of pets are online than in person. Digital world, baby. NFTs. But oh, maybe the judge. So they're actually just stacking money right now. Uh, the comfort level is. You know about NV NFTs? An eco, NFT why life? Why in? Why dip that much into your pocket? They're playing pretty smart here on the side of Genji. <laughs> yeah, what? There's a, there's Nothing, be man. Did uh, you tell me? Did you say uh, something about uh, NFTs? You yeah. It, oh yeah. You, do you not remember? I was at your house. You thought you had COVID because of me? <laughs> and I was like, you told me about that thing? Yeah. Oh my god. But he does get punished by Caboose. Dude, Bucket, dude, is now rotated into fucking showers, shooting so birds out of the sky. He's gonna have favorable engagements if anybody tries to challenge him. Fuck his non-balanced gun, get to work. Swing from Wynn. Swain is doing oh, so much. He's, he's going on. He's come alive. Set from remaining. the second map, he's been clean. perfect. Clean, he's clean, clean, clean. There we go, the That's eco it. is dealt with, losing only Sean, but that was pretty the much by design. The round literally changed to 4-0 before he killed, he killed the last person. I saw it. Back of that. And as a 4-0 lead now for This is scripted. There's laser beams right there for the eco. Confident shots, obviously, as you know, you're going up against the classics. 
And we're gonna refrain from operators on both sides here. So uh, I wanted to talk about it a little bit earlier. I said it in the beginning of the tournament that usually you'll see. Now I'm curious, who buys is is there more the pet Bulldog transactions on online or in, per, or in person? Carry it longer, I don't want to know. Is there I mean, a stat? Is there a stat though. out there? I doubt it. But there I mean, probably it is. would probably be really easy also, to get a stat like that. It's just like, did someone look that up? Like, did someone do the research of that? Go for the bulldog. Probably not. What do you mean by transactions? Like everything is done on. Online, you just see pictures and you nice buy them there with the fans yeah the man. Show or videos or whatever <laughs> or do you pick them up in for envy. They, feel like, they feel like they had so to they send them to you in a, like a crate i mean it, it'd, be, it'd probably be both some, some people them, have them sent to you some people pick the them up at the airport or whatever that. five players left all the post plant position you could possibly ask for a gen g and oh. I just feel like that, in person makes more sense because you get to interact with the animal. And you don't just buy like stats off a website, the you know? And That's what you're doing Genji with a dog. You wise. see a picture, oh, he's like 12 kind of pounds, he eats a lot. Like you're just buying they stats at that point. You don't know what the dog's like. Pick up the kills, very straightforward. For example. Yeah, but you never really know what the dog's like, even if you saw I mean, it in person. You get, feeling. You get some, a somewhat of a feel, yeah. A better feeling than online. And that's worth it for Genji, a team that has way better economy. And from either team, I mean, you want she to see from buying team, stats. Right? Say, that after a best Straight up, he's looking at oh, stats. Plus one agi collar on this collar one. This one. Strong. Because, like I said, whoever wins this match still has a lot of <laughs> a lot of work to do versus phase so great job to see gen g be able to come this is not looking good for envy i will say and start putting envy down round by round we're coming into round number six another save for envy yeah it's it's a it's very dangerous right now for envy on the defense we talk about how reliable their defense often Wait. is mm -hmm. but they haven't really been able to you literally have bought a dog in person. Way early round. They, they're stacking towards shallow. I also have bought a cat online. Right now, or a yeah, but like some light armor actually, two of my cats are bought in person. Yeah. And mummy's actually going to be able to have enough for a vandal. Okay, so what about the third? Mummy's going to, to be assisting that shower's control, and just they're just leaving. Two, wait, two of your cats with are in the person. Yeah. On B by himself. See? So uh, that does it right there. We just proved it. Three to one. Envy. Three to one. <laughs> in person wins. I don't think that they necessarily want to burn them unless they get an opportunity. That and looks you're a super online like person, so like rounds. that even proves it more. Off the back of it. And to begin with, they will be able to get that showers control. Goose is playing quite passively around this I position. think it, my point was, I think it depends on the pets too, right? Like. You're not gonna okay, go. Buy, you're not gonna buy it. You're not gonna buy a fucking fish in person. Right you kidding me? You're not gonna buy a turtle in person. You are. Yes, like, you are. You'd be so surprised. People do buy. Yeah, that hope that you're like somebody will peek. We'll get person. an idea that X agent That's why they sell is them in, in this position. But they're, now, they're really, if you're talking about exotic animals coming over walls and that doesn't and give stuff like that, maybe that's more online. Someone's out of sight, not really holding an angle. It's gonna be a slow work up towards the spike still drop. So. A lot of just feeling out the map right now, and it looks like it will be a committal towards B in the end. Probably a 30, 40 second hit here and see if they can strangle uh. Envy on that defensive side. Oh, they're doing such a good job at convincing Envy it's going to be an A play. <laughs> such a good job at making yeah. the argument for that. And it's just only Finesse and Hookah, and everybody else walked up through Garden and Long. And they have Kusa watching the flying from Market. Crashes will drone through. See, absolutely nobody here. That's going to allow them to TP through safely. That's a lot of TP. Yes, it is. Oh my God. God. Gonna have to get... He and missed the bucket. Michael, he knows exactly where they all are. What so the able to use the old is this round? Very oh my point, God! But they are starting to fight back. They're getting the frag. The double bucky. <laughs> oh my God! The They're envy dog men. pile coming into effect there to start How? getting the first few frags. Didn't look good at all for envy. The B site possibly. Oh my God! Coming through that allows him to open up the site. The bucky's coming up. Wow! GMD trying to get the win. Oh! oh! Perfectly what? I thought he lost for sure when that Bucky was when that Bucky was creeping nice and close. I think Genji's on a high right now. I think they win this after that. They're feel they're feeling damn good. This is over. 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 But the Red Bull clutch for GMD. He's found himself in this position many times. Just clutching it out. That was nice. I'm like so surprised so he got the second kill. Of that yeah. possibility for Crashy's swing missed the in Bucky mind, shot and he just capitalized it. The reaction of GMD was perfect. I can't and believe Crashy's didn't swing there, dude. 
Right up top there, 2,000 plus average combat score to start him and Quinn with the multi kills round after round. The opening first bloods round after round. They are really coming online here in the third map. And again, remember, Envy has been on defense to start all three maps, so it's been on Gen G to set the pace here throughout this entire series. Dude, he almost got away with Stu. A lot of showers work to clean up this first part <laughs> of the round. Just run in, mouse one, up catch ahead. That last one standing there. Two for two trades. Love to see it. And they're going B. Coming in from Mummy to get back onto the side. I think they're going A as soon as Mummy oh, dies. Right, yeah. we'll was, see about GMD, though. See what happens. Pushed GMD yeah. He's I mean, aware, but he already blasted him ages ago. Okay, sorry. My stream <laughs> now no it's not side. catching up Rotation comes for some reason. <laughs> or Gen G to get the spike planted. Apparently, on the I'm track. the one that's slow on the fucking internet yeah, today. It's gonna be a tough one. Usually, it was. Oh. Me. Is uh, Hunter's Fury available? But I don't think Crashy's really wants to use that. He's going in. Oh. Two man setup. Crashy oh. stays aware, but he has to hit the oh. shot as well. Finesse. Yeah. In the dark and the paranoia, but playing these close ranges will push through. Undeterred. That's the drone tag, oh. and that is rough. Very rough indeed. I mean, that's just a wrap. Oh, the dog cover run. comes through. Short shot as well. At this point, there's nothing that he can do. And the showers control play, the setup there was excellent from, from Envy. They had the paranoia setup to, to blind through when Genji felt like it was going to be safe. Is it just me or does Genji look Gen amazing this Masters? I, um, well I wouldn't say amazing, but they look, they look pretty solid, yeah. Was really good from Kusa as well. They have their hiccups here and there, but it looked pretty solid. And that opened up it's cool. It's cool to see. Genji looks pretty solid. Envy, Envy looks pretty solid. I know they're getting smacked around right now, but because of how um, open that area was for him. So Phase looks really pretty well, solid, well, even though they got Envy, smacked around by Sentinels. Yeah. 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 Mummy. 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 That's his name. Mummy. Right. As soon as one mummy. person gets not mummy, it's mummy. Mummy. Oh. 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 Oh.
Shields. Shields. That's a decent amount of damage. TP yeah, tries to get a TP oh there, gonna work out. That trip is so fast. Forward kill on Kabeus. That's gonna mean backside control is now with Gen G. Oh Vanessa, god. He's everything right now. Oh, goes down. This was he had to so fast. There. And he, he was literally getting pinched from both sides. Have to save and, now the back of that play and he was getting wall hacked. They don't have any position to work with. They've got nothing. They have nothing here. And indeed, they're going to start to fall back to the B site to say uh, this is uh, no other uh, choice. Uh, especially given that Mummy has a looking damn good on fucking mind. Wow. The round, they, they should be able to have Bragging. something that resembles that with these three safe weapons. And if he needed the 2 0 before Genji got warm, you know? Because they try to go for a B long play. And after they, they were spotted, they were panicking. They were thinking, what we were Is this the only match today? Match. No, 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 no. The winner of this plays phase. Then they had to drone immediately to and then the winner of that plays Sentinels in the finals tomorrow. They came upon a site set up on A and actually Ooh, got ahead of what was happening. Yeah. They still couldn't defend. They still had no ability to defend oh. that because they'd already oh. lost the forward positions because of that early oh. round play. So Envy is in a position where up, nothing, dude. they can't win showers. Their, their plays around B yeah. are not working. When they're playing passively, it, dude, you're game's able over. to just uh, coordinate in to wherever XBO they want. 3. Everything looks bad right now for Envy. And Gen G are spicing it up, right? Quinn with the operator was the one initiating that U-Haul push with two members. Is there a map advantage in the finals? Uh, I would assume so, but I don't actually know. Don't quote me on any of that. I, I don't know. Because they are flowing with whatever the situation is right now. And I think that's the reason they're able to kind of circumvent what NB's trying to do on these defensive positions. I mean, look at them right there to help each other out. That was almost a pie in the face that Sean had his nade out. Oh, my word. They're getting... Poo-pooed on. Yeah, that's... Uh, oh, there isn't a map savage. advantage. Dude, oh. Oh. Yeah, this is just the slaughter of all, all Well, I like that better. I don't like map advantage. I've never been a huge fan of it, so... I like that better. Do I sound like her? Insanely yeah. Strong. It's envy in terms of the confidence game. They're in that position, Riv, where nothing feels like it's working. Yeah. The confidence to make plays is starting to disappear because the, the times when they've tried to do that, nothing's worked. And, they, they, I mean, I don't know what their adjust, the adjustment is. They tried to play for showers that last round again. Just they can't win any area of the map. And honestly, you know, it becomes an enigma for who they're playing next. FaZe watched a map go to Envy, a map go to Gen G, and then I'm not going to lie, I'm really sad that Envy's losing, but they're just getting owned right now. Yeah, they're getting so, so, yeah. How, how, you know, how they're do you read destroyed. this? They've got to be watching what's yeah, going like on Like, you can't really say and, anything. Damn, is that going to be a good map as well? We're still here on this one. Envy, not out yet. But tournament lies on the line here in map three for both teams. Nine to one as we're entering round 11. Got a minute left in this. And Sean is the first to go down on the side of Genji. A good early pick from Food with that aggression. They hold on to the A side positions, playing passively now on Envy and Genji. So many times walking into the A site has worked out. And Envy holding back site control at the moment. Forward dark hit. covers. Michael finds Do you like map through. advantage you hope in a BO5 kind of format? Like, if, like I don't know if they have map advantage in the finals, but do you like it? I don't it? think they do. I don't think they do, but I, I think it's fair. Do you think it's too strong, or do you think it's fine? It's like, it's fair. Like, what if it was, like, round advantage? Like, instead, instead they needed on one map, they needed, like, on the first map, they only needed... Heavy util already Nine to win so rather than 13. That would create a lot of confusion. That'd be very uh, confusing. Yeah, but I think a map advantage is fair. You think it's fair? And, and I, the reason that I say this is because if you want that map half, advantage and to have an advantage going into the finals, you should just win Definitely. and not lose. It's really that simple. <laughs> If you lose, here you deserve to be at a disadvantage, so even if you fight all, your fucking so way all the way through it, you know? Yeah, no, I get that. I get that there's supposed to be some sort of advantage, for sure. It should be a reward for be never losing, half. right? A rotation has been left towards B for MV. If you lose, uh, you should be at a disadvantage, even if you fight your way back. Just win, like, come on. Yeah, it's really and just it's that simple. Here, if you lose, you should be more. at a disadvantage. We have seen it back and forth, but now again, it's going to be a priority as they start moving for the 3-2-A split. 
Yeah, that's Shadow's control coming in aggressively from GMB. Able to get all his control. The monies, he's got the pick. That's huge. But at the same time, we talked about this. Short oh my god. He got Short darted back there. Oh, wait, no, he got ulted. Never mind. Yep. I thought it was a shock dart. Holy. Good look. But Kaboos, he's got the rocket. And with that, they got the 3v3. Envy selling this for the last round of the first half. So interesting. No plant just yet. Didn't feel like they had full control of the site. Now no Kaboos is coming up. Pat. So you might have to retake you all. Crash, he steps in. Both steps in. The plant just Ooh. going down in time. And it's going to be the defuse now. All right. Well, they're back. Three rounds. That's all they need. Get the pistol. Get the triple. round here in first half. What Listen, if Envy gets pistol, them. they win the they win the eco, they win the bonus. They're they're in a pretty decent really spot. No, this is over, dude. I love Envy just as much as the next I guy, but this is over. Of, uh, so, I mean, really what's a, that much. If, and if, who gets an if with there was a map advantage, what's a better? They were able to convert off of that, and then in this next round, they had some success around showers where they typically never had. Like, what would be a better alternative than a map advantage? And this time they did. So at the same time, it was difficult because. Again, as we said, when you convince, when you condition the defense to have an early timing where they're focused around showers, short is completely open. Genji abused that fact, and they're going. If there was the more maps, I'd Genji say ban like ban so slash pick advantage. We're going to, but, have to see an envy that's know. unaffected by all of that success. I don't know what what people and are people saying bracket so resets. What does that mean? So it should be I don't know what that for means. For them to find their feet here as they look to focus on B. Three frenzies on that side of Envy. So that I, that death ball runs together, right? You have everybody else moving left side just to cover a flank. That's going to be crashies. We see food, FNS, and Caboose all together here. It looks like they're going to be making a run for the side. And Caboose is in a tough spot. When your picks, picks, picks oh, maps, GD, that doesn't make sense because all the maps are going to be in a best of five. Just hold the perimeter for now. That doesn't make sense as at all. As the rest of his teammates start to line things up to coordinate into and not enough maps. Spike will be planted, and it's looking quite scary right now for Envy to hold on to this one. There comes the paranoia, but wins. Win two bo 5 So you want these guys to play two bo 5 in one day? That's where you want. Uh, that's a better decision. Are you fucking high? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> if it goes to five maps, I'll be here for ten hours playing straight. They won the pistol. They ain't out. They ain't out. And Crashies delivers for Envy, and that's the pistol that <laughs> Envy needed. I think it's fair to say so important. No, not better. That's a horrible it. idea. Crashies, Whoever is saying that, is a, that's a horrible idea to have two bo It is a team game, but you saw who was standing last there and able to make the mark. 22 HP to win, who was very, very healthy. I think, think still at 100 even after that first engage there. It's going to be 9-4, to four, the bonus round. It, and now, Envy likes the bonus. And two BO3s, bonus. but if it's two BO3s. Uh, big buys here and not bonus too long. Two BO3s, wouldn't it net the same result as one BO5 Envy with map advantage? Starting off on Quinn. Big takedown there on a round where he Holy can shit. always make the damage. Oh my god. Who just flying out as he takes Mikhail down as well. Yeah, Envy guessed right this time, and... You know, we saw that there was a setup from Gen G. They had the recon through back showers to kind of crunch through showers with most of their players, of course, leaving just um, just one on the B side. I don't know why initially. people have such a uh, And that's just how it goes sometimes the, in these anti-eco situations. It's just guesswork I don't get it. for early round timings. Remaining. Up it's exits. still a BO5. If the better team, like, and think about like it. If, you're, if the better the team's in the lower bracket so and they have a one map all, advantage and they're still the better team, the of this they still should win the BO5. The yeah. Even rounds, if they're down a map. Very yeah. Because they're the better team. That's the simple could, fact of it. Try to play Even if the fucking winner in the winner's bracket has a better, like, bracket to get to the finals and an easier bracket, if they play a better team in the finals with a one map advantage, they should still lose. focus will be on who could control to begin with for Envy, so we so, like, some, a fight I'm not away. understanding the logic. And look here. at these upgrades here. Food actually has run it back. He no, yeah, you got to reward them for the upper okay, bracket for sure. It so he like, it doesn't matter it back. that their bracket was the easier. They won all their games. Else. I think the comms were to him. And you're playing against a team that lost a game frags. or so BO3 or whatever. Here by Envy. Run it back again on round it, three. It makes the most sense to have a map advantage. Food as they prioritize him. See how they work it here towards Hookah Dan. It looks like it's going to be a pretty big uh, initial or a pretty big uh, commitment. Yeah, it makes sense from a player's perspective, but I think from a spectating perspective, everyone wants to see you know a reset. You know what I mean? Coming in. Yeah, but they also just want their teams to win for sure. 
Is it like if, if their team's really, down a map advantage, GIP, they're never going to accept the fact that that team that beat them with that map advantage is just better than their be team that they're rooting on for. Hooker, so they know that no one's hooker. It's a they, tough they pill to swallow to right now. So if MV yep. hit right now, they're going to have a good timing. Run it back is still there. They do it right next to that Holy double stack shit. box in mid. Entry into the plow. Who is the one to be the center and let them know where things could be, how much he's done. And that call goes out. Who's in a great spot on tri box? Oh my god. Able to get him out right Genji's there. just oh, looking ball. nice. Such good work. Left. Food, though, he's looking to try to clutch this one versus four. He doesn't know if anything is left on the B site, but he's got to be quick. He has to gamble because the rotation is going to come through. He has the spikes. So we can plant it and try to win the clutch from there. But you can see that right now, Gen G are also giving him massive respect. They want him to plant left. because if he plants, which he will be forced to do, that means they know precisely where he is. He goes for the premature pick, and that's why they were pausing. They were waiting for a move like that or to guarantee know his position when he's forced to plant the spike. That's extremely disciplined and yep. well thought out by Gen G. Not giving a one versus four. A four I don't, know, I don't get it. I don't get that away. argument either. No, it, I, well, like, yeah, also, you're in the, the lead, winners get to the finals, right? Have the upper hand and they, so, so let's say they get to the finals and, and someone just smacks economy, every single person the in their lineup and, pressuring and their opponent they're something that now at single error. limb. So if they lose in the finals, they lose everything, right? So it's just single limb for them, but for everyone else, it was double limb. That doesn't seem very fair either, right? I don't understand. So what I'm saying is, let's say 100 Thieves won all their games and they went to the finals, right? Okay. So they lose in the finals to someone that had a double limb from the lower bracket, and they just get eliminated. Yeah. That's not fair at all. Why do other people get double limb, but they get single for winning? It just makes no sense. The logic is just isn't there. Confidence coming in from Sean is unstoppable as Genji go to 11 and Envy. We were expecting, we were hoping, I think, for them to have some momentum off of the back of those early round wins, but they never really got started. I think that's why they're arguing. Yeah, I guess I could see maybe that's why they're arguing the bracket reset. Ready to commit. Because then they are, then they're playing two, then they're playing two series. But they only have to win one. At the beginning of so the basically, round. they're giving the map advantage in place of the elimination of game. It, a, that's what it feels like. That they should be running over. I, I just don't but agree with two bo threes or two bo fives at all. Right now, to just shut down Envy. Now on to an eco round for Envy here. Sheriff's looking for those laser head shots. If Envy the more I think about it, the more I, I actually kind of dig Envy the two bo threes. In a way, it does net a similar match. outcome, the but... Goes on to the lower bracket finals to play oh, my God. Phase, and yeah, Envy, one of the fairest of the tournament, in a lot of trouble here, and Crashies still be able to open things up with the Sheriff. They need this round. They've got very little to work with, but they need And do they round. play that... Would they play these two BO3s more, on the same day? Boost, and just like that, Rip, Probably, yeah. A very strong chance now that Envy pick up this unlikely round. I wouldn't want to do it any other way. I think map advantage is completely fair and balanced. Beautiful job coming in from Caboose, nailing those with the distraction of the rest of the team. Dark I don't mind math advantage at all. Just on the angle he can. Oh, he got revealed actually. Oh my God, dude! If he didn't throw that and he just shot him, he wins. I think he's still gonna win though. Two and fourteen armor versus just 50, 50 HP. Yeah. Oh, he masks his hop up step with a few shots, finds a different angle that Crashies was not expecting, and that's gonna be the round for Kusta. And that's a, for the Red Bull clutch as well. That's a beautiful. I don't know how people are saying map advantage isn't fair. You can't you can't make the argument that it's not fair. It, it's it's the definition of fair, really. It's just I wonder if there's a more fair system. Like maybe there's something a little bit more fair. It's not like unfair, but like it is fair. It's like weird. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. The way exactly. that I see it is it, that they're trading in their double focused. limb card for a map Match advantage card because they won all their games. Yeah, no, I, no I, I get it. I know how it's fair, but I can see how it can be unfair in some people's eyes. But I think it's more fair than unfair. But is there a more fair system? I don't know. I like the two BO3s. Holy shit, that was cool. It's gonna be the dueling hunter. That was Fury cool observing right there. Enemies revealed with the neural. He kept changing well, each uh charge. A great round start for FNS and squad on the side envy. 
<laughs> Looking like a very difficult scenario. Maybe I'm just seeing it from a player's advantage a or player's perspective because I've been there, but like, I just, I don't know. It just makes more sense to have a map advantage, map advantage for the people that put in the work and won. Keep that one in the hole, but we'll see what they're able to accomplish. You can see Envy holding their ground, holding that position. They know if they keep you hole, that they will win the rounds. I mean, this is nothing that. I would almost say at this point, I think they don't want to get out of here, save those, and they realize that it's just damage for now. Dan, a sigh of relief, but still a, a bit of holding your breath here for Envy. Match point will continue on. They have to come up with six rounds, and it will help that they... It's a tough argument, through. because you also yeah, got to consider the fact that... With ...what will be an econ oh. on the side of Genji. Arguably, you could have an easier time grinding the uppers than the lowers because the lowers you're playing for your spot and the uppers you're playing nonchalant, kind of loosey-goosey because you know you still have a lowers to fall back on. So, in theory, the lowers climb is way harder, right? So, that's yeah, that's what's... Definitely could be. So, I don't know. But also, it could be easier, too. In theory, it could yeah, be harder. Yeah, no, depending on the... Theory, it could be easier. Yeah, depending on the depends on the bracket. Yeah. If you see nobody in showers, the process of deduction it, means that if there's nobody here, then obviously they have I don't, know. I, to I don't mind that, really but it's all objective, you know, like a, all these people in chat are expecting, from they're only thinking from a spectator's point Changing of anything that you're not used to will ruin your performance for a little bit, yeah. Just what you're used to, man. The Buckies are almost enough, almost. Big opening entries there, lots of those fights. Complete one versus ones could have gone either way, but it is Envy with that side advantage using the power of the Phantoms to their to their advantage, and it's win now with the shorty creeping in. He might try to find that dash up draft to try to take down one player, and that you know if he's able to take somebody down, maybe steal away a rifle, that could be a good way for him to finish the rounds. But also just looking for exits, trying to make this expensive as possible for Envy, and same thing for Michael here. However. Right now, Envy know that showers is clear. Showers to attack a spawn is completely open, and that's guaranteed. However, Win hears some footsteps. There might be an opportunity here that he's looking for. Oh, they're gonna go for the TP. That's another option as well. See, he knows that one is nearby. He's trying to close the distance, but actually, a couple players from Genji gonna Bad fall man. the spike in the end. So, all survive for Envy. Uphill to climb. 12 seven. Yeah. It comes up another gun. Win with the operator. I don't expect the comeback, but if it happens, that's like awesome. That could be something where he puts up a little bit of a stopper on the side of Envy. Tactical pause to come in for a Gen G before we start round 20. Yeah, it looks like we'll get a quick tech coming in from Gen G. And it's looking like a very aggressive start. We can see everybody towards the market barrier looking at that short B control and Win is going to be on the other end of this, a Gen G, and he's got an operator, so it's very likely that Win's going to either hold the gap. He could also, and that's what it looks like will happen. He's not against the barrier, which would suggest that he'd be looking to actually try to peek out from short B, from hookah, into that market engagement. And instead, he's just holding this angle with Sean there to support. And I'm curious what will be used here from Envy to actually displace the setup. You could always use that. Uh, paranoia that's that's usually a pretty safe way to uh, make force these players back yeah and given that there's not been a much around uh, much of a setup around showers and it looks like mb wants to push shower con for shower control i hope that they use the right utility here on hookah yeah i love this way of running a. roombas in a, you have two shots, they oh they kissed. yeah they kissed and they both and blew up at the same time <laughs> Cakes out wind right away. This is going to be a rush Bro, out. Bro, Envy is plowing. Gen G looks like it could already be happening. There's the teleport hit. They are plowing. Now yes, they're they are. The it looks like Mummy is going to try to get that spike down. Spike planted. Oh. Huge kills there into Hugo. Oh. Do you guys agree on the reason? Oh, this is a deep in spawn. I love that. Is Envy, even though it was looking very unfavorable, but still not quite enough as Kusta wow. will be finished wow. off and. I, I feel like it's weird because, like, if I see Gen G beat just walks up, he Envy up, right now, instantly shoots win in the face. Um, I, don't think I feel like phases are gonna run through. Him. With the operator, so I don't know though, because Gen G would be warm, phases would not. You know what I mean? And they could have been screaming this whole time. Yeah, true. Said, Envy, they are on the comeback trail here. We, this is not over just yet. 
but Envy, they, they've got the momentum. You know, like, or going moment. over shit, and DMing, whatever. Again, much like I just Envy, feel like FaZe, if on the, uh, on half, prepared on those eco rounds. life on the line FaZe is it's gonna roll Gen G. You, know, you just said it, Gen G is on that I don't know. I think Gen G's, I think Gen G's pretty solid. They're going to have to fold rounds unless they can come up with an amazing strap after every gun round loss. And that is how Envy is capitalizing, getting back into this one. A little bit of utility usage towards Hookah. They might be quite a bit here on the side of Envy, figuring out how to get the utility out, maybe getting a few frags from the Lurker. But they have left quite a bit of A, Dan. This is usually where they have somebody watching the flank, so they have quite a bit of unknown on the side of Envy for this round. Yeah, Kusa could win the round for Genji. You know, if he has a performance mm -hmm. here, the thing is, is that they might even just spam him because if they if they see the trip there, spamming that if they really want to go to A wouldn't be wouldn't cost too much. Clear. Just gonna stroll straight Flipping out there. the wrong way. And looks like that's gonna be all fine and good. So never mind. <laughs> so not too much from Kusta, and the side is for free for Envy effectively. So they should be good here. And once the spike is planted in rounds like this, it becomes almost impossible for the ecoing team. However, Sean finding a headshot like that. Could definitely shift things now as backside control goes in the favor of Envy, mm. but they, uh, Gen G, but they have to also take U Haul control. Oh, there's the fine jump shot. Jeez. Goes for the teammate takedown. Oh my god, Mikael from the back. On an eco. On an eco. Alt G. Knocking him out on an eco. That's true. All right, well, FaZe versus Gen G. Envy out. I really, really wanted to see Envy play FaZe and then play Sentinels, but...